In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the phase contrast compound microscope that we use in Biz2C labs. We use microscopes regularly in Biz2C, but most intensively in labs 3, 6, and 7. In the first part of the video, I will break down the microscope and describe the function of each part. Then I will show you how to make a simple slide preparation in order to view the live organisms that you will see in lab 3. Last, I will show you how to solve some typical problems and how to improve your image quality so you can get the best view possible. In the second half of the video, I will give you instructions on how to set up phase contrast microscopy. I'm going to disassemble the microscope to make the parts easier to see, but please do not attempt any repairs during your lab. If something on your microscope seems broken, please tell your TA. The lens system on a microscope has two main parts, the oculars or eyepieces and the objectives. All lenses are marked with magnification. Our ocular lenses are 10x. Objective lenses vary in power, and our microscopes typically have 5x, 10x, and 40x objectives. We calculate total magnification by multiplying the ocular lens magnification by the objective lens magnification. So if we are using a 10x objective lens, then we have 10 times 10 for 100x. It is important to notice that the ocular lenses are each capable of independent focus adjustment. This will help reduce eye strain. There are two focus knobs. The large one is the coarse focus and the small one is the fine focus. We typically use the coarse focus only at low magnifications in order to prevent damaging our slide. You can see that the coarse focus moves the stage up and down visibly, but the fine focus makes much smaller adjustments. Next to the focus knobs, we have a power control switch and a knob that controls light intensity. On top of the stage is the stage clip, which is used to secure the slide. The stage movement is controlled by knobs on the right side. Attached to the underside of the stage is the condenser, which is mostly used to focus the light coming through the specimen. It also contains a number of filters and other parts, most of which we don't use in Biz2C. Beneath the condenser is the diaphragm and light source. We use the diaphragm to control the diameter of light directed towards the specimen. Now that we have an idea of the parts of a microscope, let's make a slide and have a look. First, make sure that you have a clean slide. All of the pieces you will need can be found in the kit at your lab station. Use the lens cleaner to make sure your slide is free of any lint or large stains. Cover slips can be found in your kit as well. These are new and don't need to be cleaned. They can be very sharp, so please make sure you are careful when handling them. Don't ever walk with a cover slip in your hand. Even a small bump can cause a serious cut. Add a drop taken from the bottom of the sample jar to your slide. Add the cover slip at an angle and then drop it. If you set up your slide this way, you will minimize air bubbles. Place the slide on top of the stage between the stage clip and you are ready to begin. Make sure your objective is set on the lowest power and that the filter wheel is set to zero, which stands for bright field. You should also move the condenser down about half a turn to prevent bumping against the slide. Using the stage adjustment knobs, position the slide so that the edge of the cover slip runs down the middle of the lens. You will want to focus on the cover slip edge first, as this will make the organisms easier to find. Once the edge of the cover slip is in clear focus, close your right eye and try to get the cover slip into as clear focus as possible using the fine focus knob. Next, close your left eye and try to improve the focus using the adjustment on the ocular lens only. Use the stage adjustment knob to locate the organisms in your sample and focus as necessary. Compound microscopes produce a very flat image. To improve on this and add contrast, you can move the condenser lower and adjust the intensity of light. It is easy to get lost when looking at fast moving organisms, so be sure to use proto slow and when you do get lost, just refocus on the edge of the cover slip. Phase contrast microscopy allows us to view transparent specimens by increasing contrast and depth of field. In order to produce the best image possible, we need to align the phase contrast rings. To do this, we first change the filter on the condenser to pH1. Next, we change the objective lens to 10x. Once the objective lens and filter have been set, 
remove the right eyepiece. Insert the phase contrast telescope where the right eyepiece is normally placed. We use the phase contrast telescope to help us visualize our alignment. If you look through the phase contrast telescope, you should see two rings. One is white and the other is black. Use the phase contrast adjustment screws to position the white ring directly above the black ring. This takes some practice, so work patiently and carefully. If you have any questions, please ask your TA.